Hey guys, Josh from California through my lens.com and today we're hiking to the MASH site. The trailhead for the hike to the MASH site is in Malibu Creek State Park in the Angora Hills area of California. After paying the parking fee, which was $12 for the day when I went in 2021, you'll drive down to the lower lot and find the trailhead. The trail to the MASH site is about 5 miles round trip with about 500 feet of elevation gain. This is where we parked right here and we're going to uh, the MASH site which is right there, but there's also a visitor center. The visitor center is only open noon to 4 Saturday and Sunday though, so we're not going to see it today. To start the trail you head out on a well marked dirt road that brings you back into the canyon. Apparently they're filming a movie out here today called like a Kano clad or something like that. So maybe we'll run into some movie stuff while we're here. It's a weekday today so there's basically no one in the parking lot but this is a really busy trail in the area especially in the summertime because there's some water and stuff that people go to so just know that going in especially if you come on a weekend also it gets incredibly hot on this trail that's why i started really early i've been on it before in the middle of the day and it's hot there's a split here but we're staying on crags road to the mash site when I did this hike for the first time about six years ago, it wasn't well marked and it was a little bit hard to find, but luckily they've changed that and there's great signs pretty much the entire way that leads you to the site. There's not a lot of shade on this trail, so you definitely want to soak it in when you get the chance. The beginning of this trail is really nice as it walks through a shaded section and gives you great views of the Santa Monica mountain range out in front of you. I love the way that the mountains in the Santa Monica range look with these kind of craggly holes and wind caves and stuff on them. Get some great views of them from this trail. At about a half mile in, we reach the split for the visitor center. Visitor center, rock pool that way, but we're heading to the mash site because visitor center is not open. There's all the movie stuff that passed me earlier, right there. Maybe they're setting up by the rock pool, I guess. As you leave that split for the visitor center, this is where the trail gains all of its elevation heading up there. During this section, there's basically no shade and it's a few long dirt road switchbacks that continue to take you up the elevation. Along the way, you get some great views of the mountain range and it's over relatively quickly. This section with the elevation gain is very exposed. Don't do it in the heat of the day. There's a short little offshoot right here to the Century Dam and the little lake that's there, if you want to see it. I definitely recommend taking the offshoot as the lake is beautiful to see. I took the path to the right on the way down and there's actually one on the left that's less steep. Here is the Century Lake and that's the dam right there. Beautiful reflection today. Just in case you were wondering, there's no way onto the dam and the drop off is pretty big I heard on the other side. so. Have to take it in from right here, but a beautiful little excursion. Leaving the lake and heading back on the main trail. That's the way I came down, but someone told me that is not the official trail, there's one behind it. But this will take us back to the main road. It doesn't look like it, but that is where the small lake is that I was just at. Everything's pretty dry right now though. Here we're connecting with the main trail and road again, heading that direction towards the MASH site. As you leave the lake, the path slowly starts to become more of a traditional trail and less of a dirt road. It's a beautiful morning on the trail. I saw a few runners and that movie production crew back in the beginning, but no one since then. So you get to hear the birds. I've seen bunnies, a few deer. Not a bad way to start your day. The deer I saw were all in the beginning of the trail and one of the workers told me that they show up pretty much every morning. He said that's a pretty awesome way to start your day when you work there. There's a little junction right back behind us and this sign shows you that we're going to the mash site. It's about a half mile from here. The first time that I went this was a nice bridge but it looks like it must have been damaged in the fire so now it's just a cement slab that you walk across. Not much of the creek left to cross, but 
Basically just cross it and then come down on this side. Once you cross over the creek, the trail gets beautiful. It's nice and shaded and narrow. It feels like you're hiking a legit trail instead of just the road we were on. This section is beautiful as the narrow trail is shaded again and there's lots of foliage all around you. I loved trading the dirt road for something like this. Smell the remains of a skunk in this section. Hopefully I don't see him. A couple years ago, the mash site actually burned, so you can see the remains of the fire right here. The fire was in 2018, and I actually thought I'd see more of the scars from that fire, but it looks like a lot has grown up around it. As we came around this bend, the trail opened up to a road again. You can start seeing the remains of the mash stuff right there. Sweet, we made it to the first part of the MASH site. That is pretty cool. I think that's new since the last time I came here. It looks a lot better condition than I used to. The door is open, so it looks like you're allowed to go in and take a picture sitting in the truck. Really fun. It's a little small for me. It's still super cool though. Shout out to the Southern California Military Vehicle Collectors Club who restored this. Well done, it is pretty impressive. It is amazing to see how well preserved this old vehicle is and I'll leave a link to them in the description. One of the questions I always get asked is about how long things take so it took me about an hour and four minutes to get out here and I was stopping for a lot of filming. And there is the rest of what's left of the MASH site. Here's some information. This was actually used from 1972 to 1983 and was a lot of the exteriors of the MASH site. It says more in the beginning seasons than the later seasons as they used a soundstage, but there's some photos of the crew and the actors and stuff working out here. As you get to this section, it's cool to see the plaques and the few other artifacts on display. And here is the famous sign. This is the thing that most people want to see when they come out and visit the MASH site. So many people want to see it that they even have a smartphone camera holder so you can take a picture of yourself here. Here's what the photo would look like from the selfie camera holder. The sign was iconic in the MASH series as it represented how far the soldiers were from home, and in the end, they actually took the sign apart as they left. This piece was damaged in a fire, but it was recreated again and put on display. This sign right here shows a bunch of the actors and a few more photos from the set. This photo right here is taken from where I am now standing. Looks a lot different. I'm not sure these cars have anything to do with MASH and they may just be here to add to the site, but let me know if they do in the comments. Here's another great plaque that shows this is where I'm standing right now. So that's what the set would have looked like around me. I am right next to the officer's club, the swamp, the hospital, shower, latrine, mess tent. There's one more old broken down car. This one has a uh, plants growing through it. And the last thing to see here is this area where you can take a break, have a drink and a snack, and there's a little bit of shade. After taking a break, be sure to walk up the small little hill and you can look down on the site from above, which is pretty cool. Be sure to let me know if you or your family watched MASH in the comments. That's it for this hike. If you're a fan of the show, you definitely want to come check it out. Definitely not during the summer though. You can read more about this at CaliforniaThroughMyLens.com and we will see you on the next video.